Okay, I'm trying to see if I can record something other than the uh, uh, Spotify so they won't come on to uh, MP3 that much. But anyway, I just met the social worker. It was very nice, very sweet. Um, uh, I told her that was hard of hearing, and uh, she came to the bedside. I was just like a regular hospital. And uh, before we was in the middle of talking, I was called to a uh, resident snack coffee time. You know, I don't drink coffee, but I just had the snack part of it. But still, I think probably, yeah, okay, maybe they might have two snacks a day, like one in the one during the day and one during the night. I I, I might be wondering. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, definitely, they was uh trying to help me with my housing situation at least. Uh, I'm also going to get extra help. I know Irene was helping me with the, uh, with the form, but I'm going to get extra help because after I'm out here or discharged here, I don't know when I'm going to be able to get the phone turned on again if I don't have a phone. So I have to get the waiver form out now and also before there possibly a government shutdown. I had to get it done. I I, I, I had to get it done because if it, the government's got shut down, at least a part of the income, income part, I'm screwed. I'm literally screwed again. And, yeah, that, that nightmare really really ticked me off. Uh, after a great night that I had, you know, I had a great night with GSP. I watched the game, and then I, you know, I watched a little bit of Price is White and watched uh, High Rollers after... I was retired from t second season. It's going to be a short second season. And uh, I might have to wind up having somebody play for me, depending upon where I am, if I'm out or if I discharge. I'm hoping I could get a longer period because I still got to wait. Uh, I only met the, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, yeah, I already met the social worker. I think I'm going to get either... I don't know if the same social worker is going to come back to do the assessment or because I got to get an updated assessment. Uh, and then I wanted proof or something, even though I tell people that I was diagnosed with severe depression, uh, PTSD and anxiety or general anxiety disorder. Uh, I don't have the paperwork. I don't have the paperwork. Uh, Springfield does. Springfield, Missouri does. But it's been a while. But uh, they did say that they could get uh, all my old records. So at least that's good. Uh, so it's probably going to take more time. And maybe I would probably get uh, extended, hopefully. Hopefully I would get extended. Uh, so, but the problem is, I didn't know it was in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it's like, it's like the highway and... I don't, I don't know where I am. I know I'm in Texas City, but I don't know what street I am. I don't know where I am. I know I'm in the Woods Group. I know I'm in with caring people. And uh, I might as well have met a Christian brother. Uh, oh, I finally found his name. His name is uh, Joshua. It wasn't Zach, but it's uh, Joshua. And uh, just like in the Bible, also just like the computer in the war game. Oh, I made a long shot. Uh, the officer who uh, helped me to get here and to help me, uh, you know, with my situation uh, that Friday, uh, the officer's name was Owens. I forgot who, I forgot who I said before. I think I did say Owens, but what the, I was so under so much stress that I don't know if I made a long shot or not. But Owens, if you can hear me, um, yes, I'm. I'm giving you a good shout out. But I want to thank you. Uh, for helping me so much, and uh, I have been using the uh, the hygiene products uh, that you've given me. Um, I want to thank the uh, police department in Galveston uh, for helping me as well. Uh, yeah, so th- like, like, like I said before, years ago, I said years ago, back in the Trayvon Martin case, there are good cops and then there are bad cops. And thankfully, I've always dealt with good cops, thankfully. I even watched video that there was uh, mo- uh mostly good cops. I watched them. That's what helped me to, you know, that's what helped me. That's my education on how to deal with police 
and how to stay respectful even in stressful times so I don't wind up in jail. I even one time, one time let them, wanted to let, uh, I even one, one time let them handcuff me and search me, but I usually get that at TSA. It's about far to search part, but I wasn't going to resist. I wasn't going to resist. I was going to be cooperative and all like that. Uh, it's been, it's been really stressful. It's, for, it's so real to be penniless and had to fight to get your income back. Uh, otherwise you'll be penniless for seven, eight months. And I told, I even told social worker, I said, I can't walk certain streets. I'm a little, uh, partly blind. And she asked me, she asked me, can I see certain things? I told her I couldn't see to drive. And otherwise, if I was able to drive, I wouldn't have been sleeping in my car, if I had a car, but, yeah, so, yeah, but she was very nice, very nice, and, uh, very cordial, and, uh, so, I guess, I'll probably, I mean, hopefully, maybe this assessment could be done today, but it's not probably the day tomorrow, uh, I have been calling, uh, housing authorities, um, to let them know that I've been homeless or I've been made homeless. However, I thought I did an application for Houston. They couldn't find me, and the application is closed. So, yeah. Uh, I, oh, yeah, West Palm Beach. I thought I did the application West Palm Beach, but I think I wasn't picked. So, there goes West Palm Beach. I don't know what time it is in Hawaii because there has Honolulu time, but I was going to call them and let them know that I am ho homeless. Uh, but Dallas, I was able to get in my portal to let them know that I am homeless. So hopefully that will improve my situation or something like that. Maybe I could also call them and let them know, hey, uh, I need a place. Of the problem is how the heck I'm going to get to Dallas if they get a place and then how the heck I'm going to get there. Yeah, so, but that was definitely, I'm definitely in a, uh, not only in a waiting list, but I'm also in the waiting list for the Section 8 voucher, so there's also uh, places I'm there with, but how to, also how I'm going to get a bed, how I'm going to get Wi-Fi with no window income, so, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, uh, a lot of things to maneuver. So probably all I could do is get some rest and then wait for Because I got I to gotta wait for Monday Night Football. You know the thing. I, I got to wait for Monday Night Football to do the, uh, uh, to do the uh, week three of the NFL pickup aftermath edition. And uh, hopefully I can play match game tonight. I'm usually the Charles Nelson Riley of the uh, the program because he has glasses on. So <laughs> that's that's my character on the show. I'm the Charles Nelson R Riley. Uh, he was a match game regular. So was Richard Dawson was a match game. Regular. I forgot who it, uh, there was another lady who was a match game regular, but I'm pretty sure Justin will let me know. Chief Justice uh, will let me know. Uh, yeah, who was the, uh, the, the lady, um, the lady regular on Match Game, but anyway, it was Charles Nelson Raleigh, it was, uh, it was Richard Dawson, and I forgot the rest, but anyway, <laughs> oh, I can't believe this, I can't believe it, I had a nightmare, I had, and I was screaming, I was screaming, at least I was allowed to scream, but, uh, wow, but anyway, yeah, uh, so I'm doing what I can to do now, not only on my own, but also with the help of Dr. Reen and also social worker as well. So developing the dream team as you will to try to at least somewhat, at least get me into a place where I won't be in danger because I told him, again, I told him I'm heat intolerance, I'm cold intolerance, I'll either freeze to death or burn to death. And I was like, I'll, I'll be unsafe. I would be unsafe. Okay. But anyway. So. Uh, yeah. Wish me luck. And like I said, I don't know when the assessment is going to be. But like I said, I'm going to take advantage of all the help that I could get. 
I had to take advantage of all the help that I could get while I'm here in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Well, that's it. Uh, that's the update that I have. So I thought the regular treatment was going to start today. I thought the assessment, well, it's not the treatment. I thought the assessment was going to start today. But, I mean, it's still good. It's still another part of the day. But if not, they'll probably start tomorrow because this is like my thir third day. Third, third day here. Yeah, gonna be my third day. Unless I probably could see if I could get extended. Yeah. So, anyway. And I know they said mostly three, I mean, mostly uh, seven to the ten days, so. I don't know. Figure something out here. Anyway, that's my update, but uh, again, it was very nice, very uh, cordial meeting. And the treatment don't start yet, and I still have to wait. And I had to wait to be able to use my own medicine. I mean, even though like uh, the rules does say to self medicate with the presence of the uh, the nurse, but I can't even take it yet. So I have to deal with my allergies until. Uh, yipes! I don't know. I don't know. And then I don't even know the address where I'd be at. In case if I did wind up going to the hospital. But, anyway, all right, that's the update, and, uh, yeah, we are out.